Uh, we're good on ad time, and here we go. On. Hello. On, Gary. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 I warned everyone this time. Looks looks at Momo. Uh, looks at yes. Specifically, Momo demonetizing an entire stream. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm kidding. That's right. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing today? Mm. Very oh, good. No. Ready in... to die. Order dead. I am in uh, standing desk mode. Have you guys thought about your new characters once this oh, all yeah, wipes yeah. up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I Damn. I'm ready. I have a new mm. character. Ready. His name is Beldrin. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. He's a half drow <laughs> rogue. Uh huh. I already have a ton of art, so Bird doesn't need to worry. I, uh, Veldrin's dead, unfortunately, so I do apologize about that. No, 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 no. Beldrin. I have a retired wizard in oh, Esmeralda. Oh, Beldrin! Yeah, 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 that's cool. That's worse. That's good. Beldrin. Yeah, he has red eyes instead of purple. Spoiler, sorry. Uh, Veldrin is not dead. And then I wink at the chat very <laughs> visibly. <laughs> Ding! Very visibly. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, do we want to do a... No, we don't want to do a recap. Naomi points no? at Naomi. Are you not, sure you... Because I, I can oh, recap. Not yet. Even though we're mid-combat. Not yet. Why not? Mm. Because. Because we got fan art that we got to yes. do. Oh. Yes. It's time Finally. To That's the recap. The recap that you need is a little bit of fan art. And a little bit of fan art. I want the Naomi recap as well, though. You, After the fan art, yeah, can yeah, we have well, it? Can we yeah, get it? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah, that's, still, that's still ha <laughs> that's still that's still happening. Very good. Just slams the rack. Yeah, as long as it's still happening. Hey. Just... Yeah, yeah. Just just because you brought it up doesn't mean like, it, it wasn't gonna. Ha it's still gonna happen. <laughs> Bloody comes in. I saved uh, the recap, guys. Don't worry. This <laughs> idiot over here. Wow. Is gonna, gonna I did it, chat. I did it. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Save the entire stream. It's all me. Don't worry about That's it. That's me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, circling the drain here. Let's see. My nose hurts. Your nose hurts? Yeah. Too much cocaine? I was about yeah. to say that. I was about to say that. Oh, you should have said it faster. I'm, baby. I'm slow. I'm tired. I'm, just, I'm dieting. I'm, it wasn't I'm, even my turn. Like it wasn't even my fault this time. I'm, exa I'm exhausted. I'm I'm trying to. I'm lose sorry that you weight. were attacked by a chandelier. That's truly Thank tragic. You. I wish I could give you a big hug and make it better. I'm the nepo baby, but she has the chandelier. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could get it like a two dollar chandelier from Wish. Okay, Brett. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, why? Maybe I could get a two dollar like basil garden, which I don't even freaking have. You know. Maybe I could get a $2 uh, f refrigerator. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? $2 basil garden? Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, okay. $200 basil garden. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. Let us share the screen. I'm going to do a little fan art before we get started. God, I hope I, uh, that's the right screen. Yeah, that's the right screen. Good. I shared the DM screen, it was gonna be all Ooh. over. Oh, you guys ready for some fan art? Yeah. Yes. Uh, for those that are not aware, which might be all of you, uh, we're do we're now gonna be doing fan art at the beginning of our session. So if we have enough fan art built up, uh, we'll do a little little fan art session at the beginning, and then jump into the session. And this also functions as a great recap. And no, Naomi's recaps will not be going away. So it's we're good to go. Yeah, thanks to me. Thanks to mm. thanks to Bloody. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm. What the fuck? Come Dwags. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out who this was, and then I and then I realized, oh yeah, it's uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, I hate that. Oh, what the wow. fuck? Oh. You don't recognize Fazika, guys? <laughs> oh, no. You know that eyeliner on uh, Green Fuse. Oh Slay. God. Mother, why don't you Slay. love me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Fucking Slay. It's been a long time, friends. 
Ooh, it's that's a, a random encounter time. in an urban environment. That's a oh, random God. encounter for a level one party. <laughs> <laughs> Old Vizika. Oh my God. Pokeball. She's completely plucked. Who did this? Just imagine her in the back alley of a tavern, like, hey, she's got a new lift over around. Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, my God. Yep, yep. Anime, anime. Yep, yep. Goddamn. Goddamn. That piece of sick as fuck. Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, guys, guys, guys. She's running Is that towards a pop you. Pop figure? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a God, pop figure. Bad. That's so cute. Oh my God. You know, it looks oh. just like there's this like old Russian cartoon or game. It might actually be French. That's like the investigation held by the Kolobki. And it looks just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who turned me into a marketable ploy? Or toy? Uh, What'd you do to me? What do the initials stand for, though? It's not a toy. Oh, it's, yeah. it's something else. It has to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do they stand for? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, uh, time out yourself. I don't know. Cute, uh... Oh my God. Aww, cute. <laughs> cute. I'm okay, still thinking about the previous version of Vizika. Like Billy and Mandy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't want to think about that version. Yeah, it's in my head now. <laughs> I walk into his nose. <laughs> they're, they're in the walls. They're in the wall. The parted like the Red Sea, dude. <laughs> he's got shark teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh yeah. no! Yeah. Oh. yeah! It followed her here. Darkest. Oh. Mama, you gained too stress. Drugs. Oofus. I want to go home. Oh, oh, Marius, I want to go home. Yeah. I can finish the fucking we can, Jesus. We gotta finish the job. No! Oh. Oh. That's You're cute. cute. Oh, my God. 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 I love how like, Gareth has a crystal on his chest, and then Marius has a crystal mm. on his forehead. Oh, it was feet. meant to be. Yeah. Uh, if they touch, they'll glow. I don't know. That's, uh, that's a sick sketch. Holy shit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the, okay, we're gone. <laughs> done. The pistol moment. Let's fucking go. Yo, okay. what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, or a pin. Mm. Oh, oh my god, that <laughs> hat. It's a big hat. <laughs> Amazing. Big ass hat. Yo, Yankee <laughs> with all yeah. beards. Oh, oh my god, Yankee it's him. B. The lad. <laughs> They're like troll Hello. characters. They're so cute. Oh <laughs> my god, cute. Adorable. Yeah. Yeah. It's adorable. I buy one of these. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah. Oh. They are so like troll cute. characters. It is so great. Wow. <gasps> Action! <shot>. Action! <laughs> Whoop! Make up and fleek. Always. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> oh. Oh. Barrel in mouth. Oh. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> oh oh I love my that. god! Why she I look like get that? It, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh no! Oh, I love <laughs> <Hey>. the eyes. <laughs> Why? Is he explaining something? Yeah, are you explaining yeah, yeah. why you shouldn't do drugs? Why the armor mm. adds mass? <laughs> Just call it magic. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. When I was explaining my armor. It's magic. <laughs> oh no! Call it magic and move on.
Oh, oh my god, everybody really liked that scene. Uh, uh, oh, 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 that's that, that side god guy. Damn. Sophisticated. God damn. Mm. The mm -hmm. wise monk. The tough side eye. No spells. <laughs> oh my god. Look at my two Perfect. spell slots. Oh. So no spells? Okay. <laughs> what? The emojis. Sending. Sending from silver. Hang up now. I fucking love that so much. Oh. Oh, oh my god, I'm trying to lift you. So, yeah. so, so no guns? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what I'm referencing. Excellent. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, I love how everybody Sorry. draws her with her tail on fire. We need to make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her scared face. Oh, oh shit. Nice oh, damn. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, got some good news. Be bedroom eyes. We got mm -hmm. a we got a fan artist who just started watching uh, into the shadows breach, so we get to recap oh. that now. Oh, oh. hi! Hey. Hey. Run very fast. <laughs> this one enjoys recreational activities and running really fast. <laughs> on top of that. <laughs> when you ask your rat what rack they're eating, they start chewing faster. <laughs> no! <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! <laughs> Drop it. Yo, oh fuck, fucked God. up looking dog, though. Hey. What's up? <laughs> hey, Ma, we're fucking cats out hey. here again. Hey, you guys need snakes in there? <laughs> Just wondering. No. Oh. No. What, is she oh. eating someone's hand? I, that <laughs> might be the hand, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah! Oh my god! Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Lots a lot of saliva. Oh! <laughs> I'm, so I'm... visceral. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm why am I on a leash? <laughs> and on fire. What the? Wow, okay. This is from think... season one, episode five. My dude, yeah. my homie, please be kind to yourself. You've been down twice in a span of 12 seconds. Oh, it's when well... we were in the amalgamation and you went, you got down because of fire. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Gee, why don't you do that more? That would make things... Easier. I'll just eat the god. Eat, more yeah, stuff, eat the yes. god. Yeah. <laughs> what a strange stuff. <laughs> oh my god. That's all right. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. That's, good. Oh. that's so good. That is so that is good. That is so good. That is so good. Love I love that is so, so, good. So, so good. Beans. Oh my god. What Zoom in on those beans. beans. Yeah, the beans. Oh my Zoom god. Zoom in on the beans. <laughs> Let me touch them! Ding, ding, ding. Hey, <laughs> picture shower. Ding, 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 ding. Zoom in on the beans. Oh, oh yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> beans! Yeah! yeah! Beans! Yeah! Beans! Yeah! 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 And hands! Excellent. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, dude. Y'all are freaks. <laughs> All right, I'm glad we had a good time. All right, time to die. I'm to die. I'm to die. Uh, 
Naomi, would you like to give us a recap of last, uh, recap, last week? Recap! Why, yes, I would. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, Batman. Uh, <clears throat> we do have another two and a half hours, so don't, uh, <clears throat> don't have that voice. <clears throat> <of use. clears throat> So, uh, last episode, we started off the session doing some health management with DM Brett Ultimus's amazing, super awesome respite point system, which you can probably purchase now or in the future in one of his books. Cool. Chief got a phone call from a mysterious <laughs> wizard as her lethargy was wearing off and had a jolly old time. Marius har harvested the mimic with his incredible tinkering skills and got many parts that required schematics to do anything with. So we were just like, whatever. We didn't get the big gun, but we did get pieces to make a big gun later, maybe. Who knows? We had a lot of options when we accessed the console in the armory, including potions and grenades that we could make on site, and other schematics to decode later. There was a vent behind the mimic which had a ladder. Cheats pulled a plastic tooth off of the mimic just to keep as a little, little, uh, what, what do you call it? Trophy? As the group made a grenade and a major healing potion. There was more loot in the vent in a very unsus kind of way. Marius gave Cheats an invisibility uh, cloaking device and she climbed up the ladder to scout ahead. In the darkness of the hallway up above, a voice spoke to her in her head. It tried to comfort her telling her she amused it and that it could see her. And then it told her to leave or die. She came back down to let us know, and Marius posited that the voice belonged to the host, whatever has been controlling the panels and monitoring the station. We decided pff, it must be afraid. It's feeding us empty threads because it keeps losing at every encounter of the mouse. So we were like, all right, let's go up this ladder, down the hall, and into the bridge. And at the helm there he stood, all red and sussy. He spoke to us. We'd had a chance and we declined it. God's will be done! Combat began! This thing hit hard and summoned a lot of slimes. Right off the bat, Marius realized this thing was trying to change the station's trajectory to hit Arkmund. Child of light, rejoice, for your life will be spared, he said. The fight began. The big bad was swinging and missing, swinging and missing. Its most deadly ability seemed to be pools of radiation that it dropped beneath it every time it moved, which grew and grew until they began to became too big to support themselves and then fell apart. We absolutely wailed on it until it became bloodied. It was crazy. You really had to have been there. You should totally watch the VOD. The fight was sick. We're fighting a god. And it ain't over yet. Let's go, baby! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Well done. That was sick. Well that done. was sick. Breathe, breathe, please. Even got like boss quotes in there. Fucking wicked. God, yeah. I love when Naomi plays. She takes this good note. Oh, yeah. My gosh. I love you, Swoon. Momo. Oh, my gosh, Swoon. <laughs> Are you ready? Now save our lives, fuck. Please, Bazinka. Hold on. Okie dokie. It's I've been two voice. It's been two weeks of uh of this. Uh you guys have gotten Saratos uh bloodied who casted a ancient magic to all that they could see. Uh and uh yeah, it was a spell of ancient mass harm where if you failed the wisdom saving throw, your hit points would be lowered down to 1d4, which uh some of you did uh, absolutely do that. So uh, after that, it was paralyzed. You guys went and did a big strike. It's no longer paralyzed anymore. And I believe it is now uh, Vizika's turn. A couple of things before we uh, get uh, a couple of notes from the, the rules lawyers. Um, we did actually clarify that uh, Vizika's attacks with flurry of blows as well as the offhand attack has to be unarmed strikes so it, it, it will actually make contact however because Understood. however because we had already ruled otherwise we will not be changing that mechanic now um oh. just for this fight after that fight everything goes into place okay. pretty, pretty much any new sure? yes uh pretty okay. much any pretty much any new rulings or any new thing we do uh takes place after the encounter wraps up so we're not changing the uh the rules in the middle of that uh, uh of the fight so uh hey and, cool you know yeah. that's great then we'll do I'm, that. I'm probably not going to use it for the rest of this fight because there's only one thing that i need to do for the rest of this fight mm, okay 
Hey, Dan. Yes. <clears throat> Can you refresh how the uh, um inspiration actions? Yes. Sorry. No worries. Uh, inspiration actions. Uh, this will also be the last combat we're doing this. Sorry, everyone. Um, I'm taking shit away because it's fun. Uh, I like the inspiration actions. It was fun to give it a go, um, but it does add a lot of variability to the conflict, which I think could be well or woe. Um, and I kind of want to try and get that variability down a little bit. So we're it was a fun it was a fun add on. Uh, but now we're just going to we're going to strip it. But, uh, but we're going to keep it for this fight. Inspiration actions at the end of another creature's round, uh, you can take an action. Uh, this overrides legendary actions, which means if a creature is about to do a legendary action, you could be like, nah, I'm gonna do my inspiration action instead, and then they have to, they, their legendary action is not spent, but they are unable to perform that. Uh, you can only do one inspiration action per round total, party-wide, um, and uh, and yeah, so, and I think that's that's pretty much it. But you choose what kind of action you wanna do. Entail? Uh, it could be an, it's an action or bonus action. Cool. So you can spend an action to dash to move. You can spend a bonus action to do a thing. You can spend an action to do a thing. It's it's all it's all very nice. Any other questions before we begin? No. Yeah. All right then. It's time. <laughs> it's time. Uh, let me see. Where are we? Where are you? <laughs> cool. Uh, where, where are you? There it is. All right, so we shall begin. I shall unpause. We're actually gonna go to the Zika and let's begin with the music. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Yeah. We are now at the quote unquote, um, <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So right. it is your turn, Vizika. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to spend an action to use. <clears throat> Let's see. What alcohols do I have? I'm going to use the tequila to fill up my Sentinel's flask. Mm-hmm. That's my action. Sounds good. And then... Run up. And I'm going to use my bonus action, Booze Hound, to make an attack. Okay, can you move your token back, please? Uh... Oh. Back, like, all the way back? You're on, you're on Ceratos. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I know you didn't. Why did it go that far? Oh, oh, oh it's because I, I pressed... I was trying to move my screen with WASD. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. Whatcha? All right. The attack hits as the boo spreads over. Uh, huh. Becoming. Slow. Uh, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, 50. And then. Oh, shit. I can't get all the way back. 55. <clears throat> Sorry for those extra movements. You're good. All right. And that is uh, that's my turn. Uh, at the end mm. of Rizika's turn, I would like to use my, my action. Okay. Uh, so that uh, Gareth can use his at the end of his turn. Uh, I would like to attack. Okay. Give me, uh, give me your attack. Does haste give me an another attack action? Uh, if you take an attack action, let me, let me check real quick. I thought, I don't remember. I think the wording is whenever you take an attack action, you get another one. Oh, you get an extra, let's see. And it gains an additional action on each of its turns. This does not count as that additional action. So it would just be a normal attack. All right. I'm a quit. Quit. Uh, that, that hits 14 points of damage. And a sneak attack. Yes. Huge. Huge. 18 Ooh. points of damage. Oh, crap. Ooh. Holy shit. <sighs> all right. Um, so, uh, yeah. all, 
all attack rolls against it should have advan advantage. Because of the slow? Yeah. Uh, oh. Give me another uh, rolled whip, it, whip just to see if it's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep it for fun. Okay. <laughs> Got that out of the way. <laughs> all right, we're good. <laughs> Yikes. It's an advantage right. because it's slowed? Yeah. Yes. Um, slowed attacks affected. Attack rolls against you have advantage. So his attacks and attacks against him are affected. Correct. Oh. Okay. Slowed is nasty and a little complicated, but it's uh, it's it's pretty, it's pretty wild. Uh, does I think that end? Reading old adventures too much. <laughs> does that end your inspiration action? Uh, yeah, I think you can only take one, right? Correct. Yeah. So. Uh, at the beginning of... So you did that at the end of Azika's turn. It is now the top of the round. Uh, Vanya goes on a 15, but the lair action goes at a 20. <clears throat> and now we enter the final phase. Foolish creatures of Io, do you not understand what I have witnessed? The entire cosmos, the entire universe, everything, everything with my beating heart, with my eye. I am a part of the Etikun. I have seen the witness of gods, and soon the dawn of Ganymede shall come. And we will now do its after bloodied action. Brooklyn Radiation Brady, flood. Out. So, I cut out. Yeah. yeah. And the very sure. last the word was <laughs> Will of Ganymede shall. Yeah, the dawn of Ganymede shall come. Da dawn of Ganymede. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh come. come. Got it. Yeah. We were missing the come. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> anyways. So just moving on. Uh, the uh, after bloodied uh, action is radiation flood. Uh, as a lair action, Ceratos begins charging radiation within them. The following happens uh, Ceratos creates a surge of Ceratos in the battlefield. <laughs> As you watch as this energy form of radiation uh, manifests itself. Uh, and we'll be pointing right. Give me one second. Ah. Give me one oh. minute. Uh oh. I look at Mari. Think of the thumbs up. Jesus. I want to go home. Uh, yeah, so it begins holding its arms out and points out into that direction. Oh. Uh, the next step, uh, Ceratos will create four pools. So, <laughs> vanishes, uh, and then will teleport here, 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 and then Marius and uh, Cheats, you are both pushed 10 feet in a direction of your choice. So uh, choose which direction you would like to be pushed into. Where are the pools? I, I shall show you now. But ultimately, these are where the pools will drop. And we're being shoved away? Correct. Because he's literally forcing himself into that space to drop the pool and then appear. Can I move 10 feet this way? Yep, as long as it's 10 feet. Perfect. And where would you like to move, uh, Cheats? So he will end here? Uh, he will not end there, no. This is in the middle of the action, so he is pushing you. You do not know where he's going to appear. Okay. Ooh. And then... And you're just going to watch as he holds his arms out. We continue on with this action. Ceratos gains the ability to charge. At the end of each of their rounds, Ceratos gains one charge. If Ceratos begins a round with uh, three charges, they release six uh, radiation blasts at advantage. Eh. And now huh. it's Vanya's turn. Uh, friendly reminder, the pools uh, grow uh, after a complete round. Is it at the beginning of 
his turn or would it be the beginning of the Vanya's turn? Uh, it will be at the lair action. So at okay, uh, okay. initiative 20, they will grow. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so am I prone? Uh, you are uncon. I'm sorry. You are not prone. No, you are concentrating on Hunter's Mark and you have one hit point. Mm -hmm. I don't have hit dice. Can I some like can I spend an action to heal with my Sentinel's flask? Is that a thing? The Sentinel's flask will not work because you do not have hit dice to spend. Okay, okay. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I gotta shoot him. I gotta do you have shoot a potion him. of healing or something? Um. Remember all of your Gloomstalker I abilities. I think uh no. I think we distributed all of them. I have one, but I don't know how to get it to you. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Shit. All right. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. A critical Whoa. hit. My you, God. Who would you like to grant inspiration to? Hmm. Gareth already has inspiration, right? I do. Correct. Um currently you can see actually no yeah you can you can see uh you can grant inspiration to anyone because everyone saw that uh, attack. Oh okay. I, I, um, could all, I could always use it to try to refill the booze yeah, out again and I'm, have I'm, an extra. You're the healthiest. I'm t I'm counting on you. So yeah, I'm giving it to Vizika. Okay. Excellent. Here you go, little one. Thank you. All right, and I go again. Uh, that hits, uh, plus six. Uh, you can also, uh, do me a favor, roll 3d6 for uh, your hunter's mark, for, for both attacks. One will be a crit hunter's mark, one will be a regular hunter's mark. Hmm. Ass. And again, for the uh, Nope. That oh. 3d6 is the total hunter's mark. 2d6 oh, okay, okay, for the okay. crit and 1d6 for the other attack. Excellent. Um, and I will move here. And that will end my turn. Okay. Uh, question, DM. Yes. He's he's a bit off grid here. Is this within striking range? Uh. Just because he's like two point five. Yeah. Give me one second. Uh, you will have you will actually have to move uh, five feet into the space to attack. Understood. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, you can hit him from there. Sorry, I. Uh, well, mm, well, if that's the case, then as a legendary action, woo! let's fucking go. I will take swings. Let's see it. At this abomination. One I'm still slowed. So mm -hmm. advantage. Oh yeah, two. Well, let me do another. This is for the advantage. If Garrett. you mouse over it, you can hit. Oops. Well, it's the, it doesn't matter. It's the same amount. It's literally the same <laughs> roll. How so. did you do that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, shift wow, click for impressive. maximum. Roger, Roger. And then uh, second attack. Uh, that will hit. Twelve points of damage. Why, why do I see twelve so much? I see twelve for the 12, attack. 12, 12, twelve for the damage. <laughs> Boundary uses a very advanced random number generator, <laughs> or so I've or so I've read. Okay, uh, next up is uh, cheats. Cheats are watching as the radiation pools are surging. They're beginning to uh, they're beginning to grow. All right, um, we're gonna run. Well, let me measure. This is crucial. This is very crucial. Hundred movement, right? Correct. 
Um, Let me see what your movement is currently. I can hold up to 10 charges. Uh, because of my feet? Correct, correct. All right. We're going to go 20 here. Okay. Two charges. 20 here. Two charges. 20 here. Two charges. Six. Sits down in the chair. Yeah, I basically do. I do like a little, little spin. Or spin on the chair. Four, eight charges. And up here. Ten charges. Ten. Then. I'm going to attack. Let's see it. A 28 will hit 12 points of damage. I, think I crit on a 19. Hold on, let me look. I, yeah, sorry, please. I play so many characters. You're good. Um, I don't think you do, but you're free to check. That'd ah, be horrifying. Okay. <laughs> will you be expending your uh, charges? Yes. 10 I points. Will. Uh, sneak attack is applicable. 11 points of damage. Fair, fair, fair. Then I will be attacking again. Okay. That'll hit. 11 points of damage. Um, I would like to re-roll that damage. Okay. Just to see if I can get two forge. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep the first one. Okay. And then... <sighs> to take my drugs or not to take my drugs. <laughs> Marius is molding. <laughs> <laughs> Maldius. I think you go into lethargy so. after this, right? <laughs> yeah. And you have... If I go into lethargy, I'll die. Yeah. Because I lose my next turn. I think I have to drugs. You gotta go. You gotta do it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Cheats will... She she bounds out through the room, just kind of like... And it it's almost like her, her vision isn't even on him. It's her companion's. And it, 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 this fitted yellow gaze just fit, fits between all, all of them. And until she reaches this moment and she just like slashes out. This is the longest she has taken these drugs back to back. And it is, it is instinctual upon seeing their expressions. And she will take her stimulant. All right, let's see it. This is Nova. Don't stop. Eight points of damage, max roll. Oh. <laughs> <Eat some. laughs> My God. We can't stop. Until he's gone. Why do you persist? I do it for them. That's All a right. legendary action! Alright, what are you doing? I'm gonna fill my uh, staff with one unit of barge alcohol. And so you shall. That is my legendary action. <laughs> Marius. <laughs> Very good. Um, <laughs> yeah, sort of seeing the sudden shift of the battlefield, seeing this uh, other version, and having experienced uh, enough lasers in his lifetime already, uh, Marius begins to uh, to move. 
I think we're actually... It's counting your movement for some reason from your original spot. Oh, it's because you uh, you moved during someone else's turn, so it's the it's it's having ah, a yeah. hard yeah, time so calculating. Yeah. Calculated. Mm -hmm. 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and we're gonna make two attacks. Okay. That hits fourteen points of damage. Again, ten points of damage. We're gonna add shocking to this, uh, and then we're gonna add my blast shot as my bonus action. Okay. I have a bit of a quirky question. Yes. What happens if he hits himself? What happens if he hits himself? I'm gonna. Move Who's he him. when you're when you're referring to this? By the way. <laughs> Uh, main Ceratos. Yes. Uh, because of Crusher, I can basically move him around the battlefield. So as you him. slam against him, he does not move. Understood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sort of you're, moving it's, You're like slamming in as you hit. You actually feel your the hammer kind of like knock your arms back a little bit as if you're literally fighting against a gravital, gravitation force. Gotcha. Yeah, wrenching the hammer free, he'd uh, he'd nod to Gareth, sort of the the motion to kill. He's also got reduced speed if he tries to move. Uh, ten feet, correct? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Okay, Fifteen. This should be twenty here. I don't know if this if I can move through that, but. 20 regardless here. That's fine. It's going to move to the front. And the uh, the bloodied tattoo is going to glow on him, and he's going to take an attack. This is at max damage, is that correct? Max damage. Uh, so that's two extra points of damage. Uh, mm -hmm. So it'll be 15 points. And... Another bloodied swing here. Oh! Hot damn! That will be maximized. One moment, please. One, six, seven, add it to 16. 23, Fucking 33 huge. points of damage. Oh, ah! shit. Not enough. <laughs> Who would you grant inspiration to? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, inspiration! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it to Cheats. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. And he's gonna kind of, after his swings, fall to his knee, to one knee with his sword, holding himself up. <laughs> you just oh see, god. you just kind of watch as Saratos is holding on to the matter that's sinking from its chest. Impossible. At the end of Gareth's turn! I would like to use my legendary action! Do it. <laughs> She she gets that view of of Gareth, and she just screams. And it is this like seeing Marius at her side. She just lets forth a swing. victorious this day. But Hecaton comes for you all. How do you finish off Ceratos? Yeah. Through this scream, uh, she hears his words and she flicks her whip and it will wrap up around his torso and pierce through his eye with the tip of it. And she just yanks pulling and slashing pieces around whatever this gelatinous body is. You'll just watch as the pss, the energy rippling from Ceratos just shatters as a blinding flash Ooh. just pss, just fills the entire room as the sh station kind of 
like shakes from the impact. Ending. I've been holding this in. Ending. All right. The encounter. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. That was awesome. Holy shit. Vanya. Vanya. Are you all right? Vanya is just uh, on her knees, basically puking blood. It's just, it's bad. Hey, uh, okay, uh, Vizika's gonna give Vanya her, uh, potion of healing. I, shall I just use it for you? Yes. She's gonna feed it to her. She's gonna hold it up to her lips with trembling claws. Uh, aw. <laughs> <laughs> um, be better in than out, I think, in this situation. I think Cheats will step up and sure. just, in the end of her haste, this crazed drug state, she's just gonna slash at whatever's left of his body. The moment she'd bring her hand up with the whip is the moment Marius's hand is sort of already grabbing her arm, sort of pulling her back, sort of that moment of restraining her until the lethargy kicks in. Yeah, and uh, I think her whip would fall to the ground as she just... <sighs> this, like, Icarus red, almost, like, hued with a, a golden, like, smoke comes out of her mask's main port as she coughs up blood. <laughs> it's laden with those that hint of, of drug and... Su Holding her and looking to the rest of his companions for a moment, he'd reach down, tapping at a panel on his chest, and he'd produce uh, one of his vitality stimulants and would use it on her. Let's see it. And just sort of keeping her close not letting her fall or anything like that, not letting her pick up her weapon again, he'd turn to look back to the others. <laughs> and for a moment, attempt to talk and realize uh, that he... <laughs> the, the, the wounds that he had basically suffered from going unconscious and coming back up had sort of stifled him for a moment. And then he'd look back at all the others. Oh, uh, well done. Um, no, that was it, that was it, um, that was, I really didn't know if we were going to make it. Um, do we have to re, is this thing going in a bad direction? I don't believe so, no. I, I believe your collected effort uh, at the beginning of this uh, foray afforded me enough time to, or rather, disrupt him from sending the station to Arkmund. Okay. I... You heard what it said. What's a hecaton? Do I perhaps know what a hecaton is, Dan? Hmm. Go and make a oh. history check. Funny one, uh, no. Mm. That, that that name is unfamiliar to you. It it said so much during the battle. The child of Ganymede. Uh, the, the, the dawn of Ganymede, something like that. Um. You look really rough. Do you, do you, you don't, do you have a potion that you can take or something? He'd sort of look down at his arm and uh, sort of the prosthetic and realize that a number of the joints uh, aren't connected. He's not able to fully close his hand um, from having gone unconscious all the way. Uh, and he'd <laughs> sort of 
tap at his uh, another panel on his chest, and it's the final remaining light that's there, the sort of blinking indicator. Uh, I have one vitality stimulant left. Oh, um, how? You want, she's gonna hold out her sentinel's flask. Uh, you want you want some of this? Perhaps we hold off on that. Just for now. Okay. That seems to be all of its presence. I think we're good to rest now. Take a seat, brother. Uh, there's no uh, resistance from Marius. Marius sort of still holding on the cheats and making sure that she doesn't fall. Um, he would he would put her in the chair first. Yeah, she would, uh... It's almost like she protests at first, but it's very languid. <laughs> it has no, no real, like, <laughs> track. He, sort of leaning back, puts a palm to the edge of the, the counter here. It slips, and then there's just a loud <laughs> of his armor hitting the ground, and he's just sitting. <laughs> sort of legs out in front of himself, arms to the side. He'd feel a little, like, metal toe clawed foot just, like, laying on his shoulder, like, you okay? Hey, uh... Did, you say, did you say you were... Did you say you were out of the armor? No, he uh, he like he basically fell. Like, oh, gotcha, gotcha. He's he's slumped against the uh, <laughs> slumped against the counter here, like Buzz Lightyear. Let me write. I'll write Vanya. She's unconscious. Gareth will just stay by her side. While people um, are getting some rest in. She, 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 I gave her a potion to drink. She's just, that was rough. Uh, she suffered the worst of it. She did. <sighs> well, let's get what rest we can get in and see what we do from here, yeah? Indeed. I am. Um... Very interested to see what components an entity such as this might be able to produce. And if nothing else, I wish to see what makes it whole. Don't eat anything. I was just gonna smell. I him. just don't eat. <laughs> I won't. Ah, yes. Hmm. When it's when it's when it spoke to me, it's like it was all around me. We should make sure it's actually gone. This may not be the only part of it that's left. I don't think we could take it coming back together again. I'd rather not die on a ship. No better place to die. <sighs> He'd push himself up. Better look out at the stars. Yeah, at least yep. this one's in the sky. Careful, Marius. Don't don't overexert yourself. If I can help at all, let me know. I can help. Need your help. <laughs> Wait, what did Marius say? I'll need your help. Oh, I thought you. Oh, were... I thought he said I don't need. I know. I thought he was like, "Oh shit!" Oh shit! I'm the main character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your help. Shoves aside. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. All right. Uh, all right. So automatically, you would gather four parts of Ceratos. Um, just so you are aware, uh, two parts. Uh, just right off the bat, uh, two parts of Ceratos uh, can be uh, cr can create uh, three Mastiff parts if you ever do wish mm. to exchange them, mm. uh, since they will be in uh, yeah some different recipes. Uh, but you would autom automatically gain four parts of Ceratos, a uh, 
to check to see if you can gather any more point parts though. Skill check required will need to be uh, either, uh, ooh, you know what? A survival ain't gonna cut it. It's going to be arcana or religion. Okay. Ooh. I have proficiency in arcana, but I don't think anybody else does. I have proficiency in arcana. <laughs> Pushes up glasses. This is literally my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and uh, it, for someone to assist you, they will also need to have proficiency in arcana or mm -mm. or religion. Okay. Uh, just asking again for clarification because I know there's been rule changes. Can I Sorry. still guidance myself? Yes. Perfect. Then I will roll an arcana check. Uh, nobody else has proficiency, so we're rolling. Uh, ba bam. Oh. Yeah. That'll do it. I hope you heard that from up here. I did. I, well, I heard it twice. I, we heard it. Yeah. Oh, Good. I wanted you to know how proud I was of you. Even though my character is languid. <laughs> God, get yourself a friend like Momo, am I right? Jesus Christ. Just I would knock on my desk for every single one of you. <laughs> Always the hype man. That's Pre so nice. Appreciate that. Marius. Roll a 1d4 and let us see how your fortune pays off. Ooh! Mm -hmm. You get three extra parts of Ceratos. Oh, baby! Mm. Oh my god, we can form an exodia. Finally! That's some good fucking loot. Hey guys, you want to see something cool? I shove all the parts into my armor. Boss <laughs> round. <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> like I, I would take it. To do. I'm Saratos. Do it. Do Hello. It. Oh, wait a minute. Hello. Yeah, I have a small question. Why does Marius talk like this now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, um, are we meant to still be in combat? <laughs> mm. Oh my god. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Shit. Well, I, had I was genuine cursing. dread. <laughs> I was thinking. You, you laughed and I went I slowly looked down to the initiative tracker and I went, Why are you still on? And Wait then I, and then I would say <laughs> and then I'll say I was wondering who would catch on first. <laughs> oh, So funny. So funny. Or are we gonna take a rest here? Is that the plan? The ship is ours. Uh-uh. Mm. I don't know if you remember. There's a weird dead space monster in Med Bay. <laughs> yeah, that we just like, nope, we're not dealing with this now. We just yeah. cut off Med Bay and send it away. Yeah, it's always Do safe in Med Bay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think we should go. Do we get one of those, like, auto short rests? Uh, respite? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, uh, for this, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Oh, yeah? That, that helps. So yeah? let me, let me, uh, let me check something real quick. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Why are you checking things? Because I'm, I'm the DM and I... I have a shitty memory and I gotta keep checking shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, let's see here. Just looking at stuff. Uh -huh. mm. yeah, totally. Where the fuck did I put the respite rules? Oh, I know where I put them. In the Patreon. Subscribe the to the Patreon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you go to Brett Ultimus's Patreon today, you can get your own bit of books made by him and his fantastic team. Oh, you can that... learn about respite rules and uh, fish. Uh, wow. Fish. Hi. Hello. Why is an exclamation wow. page? Hello. Hello. Um, so, uh, you will gain, double checking the, yep, sure was, Saratos sure was a CR11, uh, you will get a, uh, four respite points. Very good. So, 
uh, to recap uh, what you can do with respite points uh, from the top of my head at this point, smiley face, but I think I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and uh, you have four, you either can spend it on uh, healing, so hit die healing. Uh, every respite point recovers a spells level. Um, and what else? Oh, you can use a respite point to also refill your Sentinel's Flask. I believe and those were the three options. Key, oh, yes? Key points? Yeah. Uh, you. Oh, that's right. We had this conversation already. You can restore hit dice, right? Because you are taking a short... This counts as an instant short rest. Your key points are already restored. Oh, right. I forgot that. Yeah, we had this conversation last time. Deja vu. Deja vu. What? Okay, so we'll go down the list, shall we? Gareth, you have four respite points. What would you like to spend it on? Heal. All right, how, man, how, how, how much heal you want to do? Probably all of them, but let's go like two right now. Hey, let's find out. Let's find out what two. happens, okay? Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do the other two. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Nice. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Vanya. Yeah, four respite points. Yeah, I'm Mo gonna go with a healing as well. Can I, uh, before I do that, can I actually use my Sentinel's Flask charges or no? Um, so, um, the Sentinel's Flask charges is spending uh, a hit die. Mm. So we're, currently what you're doing is the same thing, uh, yeah, except yeah, you're not okay. you're not spending a Sentinel's Flask for it. Boy, okay, let's go heal, hit me. Here's your think first heal. Second yeah. heal. Oh. Third heal. Okay. Fourth heal. Fourth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank ye you of, so much. Ye ye of Thank meek you. constitution. <laughs> Shit. Uh, cheats. Four respite points. What would you like to do? I would like to use two for health. One moment, please. I have to. There we go. I forgot that I wrote down the respite rules in my notes. Hey, awesome! I'm glad someone did. It should have been me, <laughs> but I'm glad you did. Uh, so that's two hit die I spent. Cheats. You have two remaining. I would like to use one more. Okay. One remaining. And I would like to store one in my Sentinel's Flask, please. Okay, so you will be... Your Sentinel's Flask is actually fully replenished, so... I know. I'd like to store a hit die, essentially. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yep, I will increase your hit die. Beautiful. Uh, let me also make sure we're doing a little short, short, little short rest there. And then I'm doing a little short rest here. Okay. Rude. Uh, I'm going to do a short rest here. <laughs> Taking a long rest. time. God. <laughs> Pushes the DM out of the way. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your short rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 One of these days, guys. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, Marius, you've got four oh respite God. points. That's what so would good. you like to do? Uh, one's going to be to restore a first level spell slot. The other three are going to be health. <laughs> Hell. Hell. Uh, All right. Good news. You have one uh, spell slot. That's awesome. And uh, I have to one, two, three. And then. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, how does it feel to actually heal? How Great. Does that feel? Oh, good, good. <laughs> you have a bigger hit than one me. So. Hey, well, Vizika, you now have uh, uh, four points. What would you like to do? Yes, I have already added two hit dice and two charges to my Sentinel flask. Oh, you did, did you? I did. I did. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, all right. love streamlining. Wow. All right. Thanks, Vizika, for doing that. I didn't say that. I'm trying to help you. <clears throat> Thanks, Bazooka, ah. for helping you streamline. 
<laughs> uh, now we're throwing all off whack. <laughs> I've ruined the system. I'm sorry. Look, if you want, I can take them away. So no, 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 no. Thank you. I appreciate it. That would be, that would be worse. That would be worse. Uh, that would actually be worse. <laughs> That would be worse than anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you've spent your respite. Uh, you've automatically uh, been under the effects of a short rest. What would you like to do now? Hey, guys. How uh, how lucky are we feeling? Huh? Uh. What do you mean? Uh, Above board, we have one boss left. <laughs> we got fly this day. into the sun. Fly this into the sun. Uh, we'll God, get the XP. Yeah, I was about to say, have we seen any XP if we jettison this into the sun? <laughs> into the into literal hell, you mean? <laughs> Set coordinates to Ganymede. Uh, yeah. Back to sender, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to answer your questions, no, idiot. You won't get experience <laughs> for jettison. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Space station. Wow. Wow. Toxic. Oh. Oh. He, I, he's toxic. He's a DM. He's a DM. He can take it. He's a DM. He's fine. This is what he. This is how he likes me talking to him. It's very yeah. weird. I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me with a little sicko icon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... As it stands currently, uh, more than half of us are still recovering from our wounds with this child of Ganymede. There is still an entity whom Cheats described within the Medbay, and I believe now from here I should be able to, if nothing else, start probing a lot of the systems that are left over, or at least the one remaining system that was not purged when they fled. Well, I think you should gather what information you can. I don't... I'm not sure how I feel by, about fighting something else, but the major Vanya, threat immediately is, hearing hmm? this, Vanya is going to, like, wipe the blood off of her eyes <laughs> and mouth. Uh, because it's everywhere at this point, and she'll say, fight! fight. I want to fight! Give me another fight! Oh my god. Um, do, do you think this system, you know, since it's got, like, such good defenses and all, like, knows anything about that creature? If the station knows? Yeah. Well, given it sort of innate ability to control and sort of assume direct access to all of the things here. I. It makes me wonder if this is not some part of the station already. Oh. Maybe we could rent it. Or, like, suffocate it? Hmm. Looking back to Cheats, sort of sprawled out like a cat in the chair. <sighs> when you saw the entity within Midbay, did they look as if they needed to breathe? Uh, what is it? What is it matter? She like lists her head to the side. There's like a unslightly. I could potentially with access restored or assuming access here, I could potentially set off or cut off ventilation to that area, potentially uh, suffocate it if it needs to breathe, or if not, give us some semblance of assistance in the form of any of the security drones. I, I, I don't know. Thing was, was made up of a bunch of different shit. I don't know if it could breathe or not. It was... Uh, 
Um, Gareth's going to start tapping on some keyboards here, trying to just, like, see what he can learn. Does all organic life require air? Well, some require various gases. Not all of them require oxygen. Mm. Um, as you kind of tap into the keyboard, um, you will actually see it pop up with a system error. Uh, Marius, I... It's giving some sort of error over here. I don't know if you can make sense of it. Remote. He's pulling out the 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 wire from his forearm. Uh, find a place to uh, insert it here into the console, and uh, figure out what the fuck's going on. All right, go and give me a um, uh, Tinker's Tools check. Ooh, baby. So, as you are tapping into this computer uh, and opening, looking around and looking through the code, you will see that the majority of the code is completely scrambled. Like, absolutely fried. And as you're kind of looking through, you realize what is to blame. Uh, Ceratos's rather rapid hacking of the entire space station to go on a, on a crash course to Arkmund um, and then being suddenly discharged and pulled out. Um, Ceratos, it, it's nefarious. Ceratos has made uh, sure that if he wasn't going to be able to use the station, no one ever will again. Uh, not at least without a complete reboot, uh, reboot or reprogramming. However, with that being said, I do have a couple of fa- um, uh, little, a couple of little info nuggets for you. Uh, the first one, uh, what the satellite uh, discovered, um, if you remember that from your notes from Jesus four know. sessions ago, um, was kept on a separate mainframe. So you are able to access that from up here uh, without need, without worrying about it being destroyed um, because it was on a separate mainframe. Uh, and two. Because of your absolutely amazing, wonderful uh, Tinker's Tools check, uh, you can give the station one more command. And that's it. Because then the whole thing just... I mean, the station, all the emergency stuff will still function, but you won't be able to do anything else with the station. Understood. Um... Mm -hmm. I guess, first things first, I'd like to know what they found. Okay. So as you go into there, uh, you will see a satellite imagery uh, of what appears to be this sort of brownish planet um, with a massive crater. Um or with a massive crater like ruptured from behind and you kind of see the little specks of, of, of rocks like scattering out of it, almost as if something impacted uh, the half of this just giant massive uh, thing. Uh, you will also see that there is a small circle uh, located by the crater of whatever this brown mass, this brown, this brown planet is. Um, and it has it, it's circling around a sh- it's like a random shape by the crater. Now, you are free to make an investigation check to try and gather more information of what exactly this picture is. I mean, it's, it's clearly of a planet. You've seen something okay. on whatever this planet is. There's a circle uh. by the massive crater. Yeah. But that's all, that's that's all you that's that that's it. That is what has apparently alerted yeah. the station. Sort of uh, tapping along the keyboard, uh, one of the small panels on his armor would light. Uh, I would like to try and investigate to try and get a better uh, or a deeper understanding of this um, this sort of impact site that the satellite seems so interested in. Uh, but I would like to use guidance for this one. Okay. Oh, baby. You are uncertain of what you're looking at with this photograph. Understood. 
Just a recap, satellite imagery of a brownish planet with a massive crater showing signs that something impacted it. Small circles located by the crater circling around a By the way, when I say shape. when I say crater, it's like on like an entire side of the planet. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So it's not it's, it's the planet's basically split in half. Mm, kind of. Like there's a, there's an impact site that you can see this giant like crater dent within the planet itself. Like someone took a giant bite out of it. Yeah, that's that's Gantula. that's a, that's that's a fair one. Something. What you looking at? Oh. Uh, Rosika stands up on her tiptoes. He would sort of turning for a moment, uh, <laughs> using. I don't know why. I just imagine Varys turning over, and for some reason, it just has drool coming down his face. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's going on. Where am I? Uh, he'd turn and using uh, a small projector from his magical tinkering, um, he would project the the sort of uh, a sort of flickering replica of the brown planet that has this gargantuan crater that's causing like fragments to float in its atmosphere. Oh. Would I hey. recognize it? Would you like to? You can make an investigation check. I would like to. A 13 is insufficient. You too Looks. also don't know what you're looking at. Looks like chocolate. Well, I assure you. It's not, <laughs> but it was of some import here to the satellite, uh, so much so that they uploaded it to a completely separate frame, uh, protecting it from their purge before they left. Oh, hmm. okay. Are, are you able to save that image? I already did. Well, look at you. He'd hold up a small, like the same sort of projection, sort of retracts, and from his palm, he'd produce a, a small dongle. Are you nope. making a check as well, Gareth? Yeah, if he gets a better look at it. Um, I mean, it's up on the screen now, so yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, what kind of check was it? Uh, investigation. 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 Yeah. You mm. also don't know what you're looking at. <sighs> Intriguing. It's, what could it all be? It's not a planet or a moon that I recognize at all. So perhaps Cheeto might know. What? You think what it's you possible want? for a planet to be made out of chocolate, like somewhere out in the universe? Well, given Anything how is chemical compositions happen, there is a probability, though very unlikely. Pasika's eyes have grown big, and she's, like, staring past you now, so excited. Wow. I hope I get to see that one day. And she goes and looks out the window. Uh, to all of you, <laughs> that entity fried most of this system. Um, it's practically worthless. It would take who knows how long to reboot the entire thing and clear out whatever corrupted data was left over from its a attempt to redirect this to Argument. So, from what I can gather, I can input one more command before the entire system is fried completely. What would you have me do? Can you look at any rations that might be left on the ship? You can have mine. <laughs> uh, are there any options for security or defense systems? So, perhaps. A little, little fun thing for you guys. When I say you can do one more thing, I mean, hey, one more thing. Uh, there will not be a list of things that you can do. 
get creative with it. The possibilities are endless. This, look at this as a space station version of Wish. Oh my God. You what can the- you can go ahead and ask the 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 ship to do whatever. The, your your uh, your imagination is your only limit. But just like Wish, uh, the ship can interpret it in any way they they please. So uh, there you go. And when I say that, I mean more like, you know, like, you can't be like, uh, hey, ship, can you transform into like uh, a thing? It has to be, you know, it has yes. to be a thing that you would command a ship to be able to do. Yeah. Within the confines of its capabilities. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Have it cannibalize its systems that are already shut down and unimportant and just create legendary weapons. <laughs> Well, you were talking about perhaps decompressing the the area in which that monster was. Hey, oh, no. above board. Yes. What if we launched this at uh, Cosmotara? <laughs> <laughs> Just as a, what's that, how's everybody feel about that? Well, I think that's a wonderful idea. Seems like as good an idea as Although- any. How much collateral damage for like uh, the rest a fuck of? Ton. <laughs> I mean, there's like, hopefully there would be nobody around it, you know. But there's all of Warden Fell <laughs> like right there. Yeah, we kill all the people that we save. The remaining Asmodians. <laughs> Not the ones behind the walls or whatever that place is called, but you know, the ones that matter, all dead. But Cosmotara also dead. Wait, sure, yeah, Tamor uh, would be fine unless this thing is packing some form of like. Uh, kill a ton nukes on it that we don't know about. And, well, it uh... does have the <laughs> remaining body of a of a radioactive god type thing on it. Mm. Who knows what'll happen? Mm. As funny as that would be, and if I was a completely different character, I'd be all for that. Uh, but I just thought that was a funny thing to ask. <laughs> you should you should do it. I think you should do it. I, I don't think Marius would shoot a space station containing weird fucked up plasmoids <laughs> into Asmodeo when Asmodeo is already suffering enough. Look, it can't get much worse. Geneva already has my name. I don't need <laughs> them to get my address too, okay. Is there anything that comes to anybody's mind in terms of things that we can do? I Some of my ideas include uh, trying to basically smoke the creature out like try to cut off ventilation, see if it needs to breathe. <clears throat> the other idea is to see if I can rouse whatever remaining security drones are there and send it after the weird med bay monster. What about having the station like follow the barge so that like when we land, people can take care of it and like, you know, if they want to study the the remains of this fucked up shit and maybe See if the people who built the station can't get into it. And then also, you know, they can take care of the horror. See, that would probably get a lot of people killed. Yeah, we just unleash uh, it on the population. I mean... And the people that left probably have ties to this thing anyway. So we would just be handing it to them on a silver platter, effectively. Right. Which like, here's could... the body of your god that's partially dissected. Oh, well, if it comes to the, the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the council with us? Like this, this, like basically follow behind the barge, but like have it stay in the air and they can like take short ships. I don't know. Hmm. Can we tow it? (laughs) Can we tow it? That probably wastes a lot of barge fuel. Probably. Blow it up. If we blow it up, what if little pieces of it hit things that we don't want it to hit? And they'll just keep going forever. Or would they burn up? Does I have an atmosphere in which things would burn up? Yes. We have completed 
How many bosses? Three. I think the last time we looked at the counter, it was, it was out of four. Three out of four, yes. The last one is optional. The body horror one. Do we want to rest? Because this is, this is my plan. This is the this is the idea that I've I've uh, I'm sort of formulating. Um, we could rest. I know the dungeon will probably get harder. Actually, it's not probably. It will get harder. Um, mm -hmm. So we rest. We come back. We kill the shit out of this thing, and then we draw all the remaining power, all of its auxiliary power, everything like that, into basically one location, and then we siphon that to the barge because the, the the reason we came on here was looking for supplies and to power the barge. Mm. So if we draw all the remaining power, all of its auxiliary power, turn off, basically, like you said, have it cannibalize all of its systems that are already off, um, we could draw all the power and then basically soup up our barge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we I also want to kill that boss. Do we need to long rest for that? I mean, I would like to long rest for that. <laughs> I look at my hit points. Yeah. Hmm. Can we even long rest on this barge safely? Like, obviously, it's going to get harder, but does that mean that that one thing is going to get harder or more things are going to come out or it's going to start breaking apart and, like, life support systems failing? So, like, you know. Will we wake up to our own suffocation? Yeah, I think whatever we're doing, we should do it now. Like, if we're going after the boss, the last one, I think we should probably go now. Because of that. Because we don't know what's going to happen after we long rest. I, I don't know. If we go down, I think we're out of, like, health potions. I have... I, I like, a purely meta level. Like, I have two spell slots. I have nothing. I have yeah. a sentinel flask charge, and that's it. If we could actually, like, hinder the creature in some way, then we probably could take it. I have a... Luck. But I don't know if we can safely say, okay, yeah, we can do that. I don't know. I have five hit dice and three sentinel flask charges, and I can give those to y'all. It's not much, but, you know. It's honest work. <laughs> I have how, zero hit dice. Uh, I have had zero hit dice. How for many fragments a long time. <laughs> do we have? How many pieces did I get? Because we can just. I mean, if we want to make. Some it's crafting? a. You can make some health potions, right? It's either we can make some mm. health potions or 6d8 fire grenades. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have you already eight, made like two, right? You have eight Mastiff parts remaining. Wait. Yeah, we could make like I don't know three grenades and like toss them in to that creature like as a surprise attack. <laughs> like toss I them have around two the bombs corner. On me. Okay. Well, if we make three more, we could toss five bombs toss, at it. Toss bombs. <laughs> like oh everybody, throw a bomb and run away. <laughs> okay, well, help holds their action. Wait, everybody throws the bomb at the same time. I mean, yeah. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. We could do it. Wait, wait. If we only have one more thing to do, don't we need to still glean the other blueprints for crafting? That was going to be, uh, he said I basically downloaded them, but it was going to be me during the downtime mm. decrypting them to realize what they are. Mm. However, he also said that each or every two Ceratos parts gives us three more Mastiff parts. Right. So I have seven Ceratos parts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, mm, I think it might, I think it's a good idea. We could maybe like program this thing. Like if we're not going to rest before taking this thing out, maybe we could program it to like say, you know, six hours from now, all of the power gets diverted into the one thing. And so that like, we already set it here so we don't have to come back to the bridge in case something bad happens. So we can bail. So we put a timer mm. on and then, and then we go get on the way back out of the armory. We make some more bombs. We each have a bomb. We do the whole action thing. Cause I think that would be great. Um, we like lure that thing out into the, the corridor and bomb it and then finish it off. Um, we could have it like in a, in a choke point so that we don't get exploded too. And then if that should uh, accidentally, you know, break the walls of the station and uh, it's, you know, 
I don't think it's the outer hull because the station is huge, but in case it is, then Jettison we can just hightail it. I mean, you know, we we can we can do that like in the hallway, but we'll be in the other room so that the you know, small door we, we won't get jettisoned, we'll just run away and leave and then uh wait for the power on the barge. I uh I'm down. I'm down to set basically a timer, basically like uh, in six to six hours, divert all remaining power to one like power cell or core or whatever we can gleam from this. Yeah. That we can take and then uh, go throw hands or grenades at the boss and see what <laughs> happens. Uh, DM? <laughs> yes. Uh, are we allowed to ask if uh, crafting will take our one action that we can do what do you mean by one action you can do the the one last thing that we can order the ship to do oh like to build something yeah if we wanted to go back and craft grenades would that take our our one op like you know option for what this oh uh no it won't okay okay cool. this is just more of like an overall like Perfect. hey ship do something yeah because it still it still has what it, whatever tools and like doors and stuff that that's still all operational. Excellent. Oh, so well, how do we is. how do we like the idea? Basically, set it to drain all remaining power in six hours. Go craft some bombs. Go throw hands with the big thing, uh, and uh, let uh, pride uh, kill us. <laughs> wait, wait. What was that last part? What? We can we we can also use some parts to craft like a couple greater healing potions, right? Well, I do want to keep a, a decent majority of the parts because I feel yeah. like it does like loot. my loot. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. I want to be able to make stuff. Like. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I could I could give two hit dice each to um to Marius and to Vanya. And then keep one charge just in case somebody's unconscious and needs to be gotten up. And then we already have two grenades, so we'd only have to make three. And then if shit goes wrong, we could just bail. <laughs> I like it. So are, are are you taking a, a long rest or are you not taking a long rest? Mm -mm. No. no. We're going to... Marius is going to set the ship's final command is in six hours to drain all remaining power and auxiliary power to one cell. Is there still like near the entrance, like where we came in? Our access point. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're pretty much right by it, so. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, issue the final command that'll be to drain all remaining power and auxiliary power in six hours to one cell that can be harvested by us. Um, and then once that command is issued, we're gonna make our way back to the armory. All right, one second. Okay, so you would go ahead and issue that command. Do, 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 do. All right, and then what would you guys uh, like to do? Okay. Do you think there's any stuff around here? I mean, there's plenty of stuff. We've looted a good majority of it. What's this? Uh, what is this? Another council, more than uh, likely in regards to the, the generator. Oh. Hey. Are you sure you don't want some more? Are you sure you don't want my flask? <laughs> he <laughs> he'd pause for a moment. Yes, fine. <laughs> Okay, um, I'd like to spend a charge and two hit dice to give to Marius. Uh, what's your con, con mod? Uh, my con mod is uh, plus two. Okay, one second. So you are giving two to Marius, is that correct? Yeah. All right, give me one second. Two hit dice. Yes. And I'm, I'm also going to then extend it to Vanya as well, so... Two dice and one charge each to the both of them. Mm. Uh, okay. Thank you. 
Right. Okay, and then you're doing... Uh, all right, so you do that. Um, you yeah. only have one charge left of your Sentinel's Flask. You're going to give one to uh, Vanya. Wait, I, I had two charges. Yeah, you gave two charges over to... Isn't it one charge and then any amount of hit dice? No, it's one per one. One charge restores one hit dice, but you can drink all three charges to spend three hit dice. Oh, I thought we were able to drink. Like, if if you drink a charge, you can choose how many hit dice you heal. You choose. Back. You choose how much you heal back with how many charges. So you choose. You can choose. I'll drink one charge for one hit dice, or I'll drink all three charges for three hit dice. Oh, <laughs> I had that totally wrong. Um. Well, shit. In that case, um, I wanted uh, I wanted to split it up to give each of them one charge. So, right. Um, Honestly, he probably needs it more. Like, right. I guess like, out, out yeah, you'd probably be able to character. snipe that thing. I mean, hopefully, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Like, keep it as is. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Also, I have a small point of clarification from the dm uh one second uh are you spending the third charge no 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 i okay, was gonna so, i was gonna use one charge each on each of them but i didn't realize understood that. but you're you're so you're only spending the two charges on marius and that's it yeah okie dokie and the point of clarification i assume this is incorrect but my version of the sentinel's flask says if you consume this flask and do not have di hit dice to spend the flask heals one hit point Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Yes. So not... Okay. I don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have hit dice. Can I just chug this shit to max HP? Uh, no, 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 no. As in, if if you have a charge, right, um, but you don't have hit dice, you can drink the charge and it'll gotcha. heal you for one. Okay. Yes. The charge and the hit dice spent. So the, what the charge does, it lets you do spend a hit dice. But if you don't have any hit dice to spend, it just gives you a hit point. Understood. I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Right now you, have, yeah. Right now you have zero out of three charges, which perfect, means perfect. you can't spend any more because there's no charges. Was was the thing changed at any point? Nope. Okay. I think I think we've been doing it before. Um, I did forget about the the one extra hit point. Um, so, but that's that's the only thing that would have changed or unchanged. Huh. Are you still Are you still quest asking about the one? No, oh, yeah. I just, I, I'm so certain that I remember us like being like, I'm gonna use one charge to heal three dice. No, whenever because, when anyone was yeah. doing that, they were like, I'd like to drink three charges, and it's like, oh, okay, and then you drink they or I want to yeah. drink three for three. They're spending three charges right. to heal for three hit dice. Right. So maybe it's that's what you were hearing? Question mark. I'm I'm also is, question mark, but it, it's is, not this, a big deal. This is how it's always been. Uh, yeah. Unless was everyone thinking the way Naomi was thinking? I cannot remember the last time I used my Sentinel's flask. I just know it's empty. Uh, yeah. So I was just reading what it said. <laughs> Got it. I think I remember it being one to one, one hit dice per charge. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. When you do this, you can spend one hit dice per uses spent. Uh, for each hit dice spent this way, you roll the die and add your con modifier. You will gain hit points equal to your total minimum of zero. Yeah, I think at some point my perception of like one action to drink any number of charges turned into one charge equals any number of hit dice. It's all, it's, <laughs> it's, it's all good. Do you do you understand now though? Yes. I okay. Do. Cool. Awesome. Hey. Smacks her face. Hey, <laughs> get up. He he would reach out with his claw and sort of tap at her mask. Hey. Yeah. We're leaving. Oh, thank God. Get me off this fucking ship. We're not leaving the vessel. We're leaving the room. Oh. We're going to the armory. Oh. Our job here isn't done. What do you mean? We did what we said we'd do. 
And in six hours, the entirety of the station will drain all of its remaining power and will set it to the barge. But there is one entity left. No. The station is in a drift. With enough time, any of the shards could pull this thing onto its surface, unleashing whatever that thing is. It's our responsibility as hunters to fail that thing. Why can't we just let it die up here? More than likely, it won't die. You saw what Ceratos was made out of, what the other plasmid-like creatures were made out of. Who knows what it needs to sustain itself? It could be uh, as simple as breathing is all it needs. The only way to make sure is to put it down. Maybe you'll change your mind when you see it. She clamber out of the chair. <gasps> He'd pause for only a moment, sort of taking a, a second to sort of look at her. There's this almost Silent. No. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? Uh <-huh>. what? <laughs> I didn't see anything. Nope. Uh, Mario starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> God is sending a message. It's time to go. So what do you say? Uh, he basically sort of, sort of watched her for a small moment and then gave a, uh, almost... Uh, Almost a minuscule nod, this very tiny motion of the head. Don't look at me like that. What the fuck did you expect me to do? You put duty on my shoulders. If I had my way, I'd fucking leave. Don't look at me like you're proud of me. You shouldn't be. He doesn't say anything. He just keeps walking. All right. So you guys are heading back to the armory, is that correct? Yeah. The vent is over here. Oh. Wait, is this a door? Uh, yes, it is. It leads just to the rest of the station, though. Oh. Okay. Uh, do you have a really quick question about the respite system? Yes. Are we able to give our respite points to someone else? No. Oh, okay. Understood. <laughs> Thank you. Stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. It's clear. Let us be just cautious. Those things can travel through vents and the walls. All right, so you're using the armory, is that correct? Yep, just waiting for uh, basically once everybody's present to, to make it. Okay. Brett, yes. If, if it's a no because it's too late, it's okay. I, I thought that the hit dice thing was, was different, like per charge, any number. Uh, if I had known, I would have healed using one of those respite points. So like one less hit dice and one more hit point instead. Unfor unfortunately, a lot has already transpired, okay. so I, I can't. It's fine. I apologize. Yeah, it's just a it's just a lot to go back and try and undo and it, it'll yeah. just it would take it would take a lot more time than that. So. OK. Um, so.
What are you building? Uh, because I'm a little, I'm a little menace mm -hmm. to technology. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any way to uh, try to get the uh, the system to maybe give us a discount? Oh, oh, oh! It's gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> Just curious. I ho you... I I hold all of my massive pieces, you know. Just in case we don't have to use all of them. Hmm. Uh, you are free uh, to make a Tinker's Tools check to see what uh, what 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 kind of what kind of business you can get into. Perfect. Uh, I I will cast guidance on myself. Okay. As you should. Oh. oh even let me roll my one d four. What the Okay. Wow. Uh, so first of all, I would like to know, what are you building? Uh, I would like to build uh, some grenades. I would need a number. Three uh, Mastiff grenades. So you're spending three points for three Mastiff grenades. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, with that, you will successfully craft four Mastiff grenades. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just as good, baby. Yeah, Marius uh, sort of hovering over the console, he sort of pauses, realizing that the biggest challenge, at least thus far, that had been barring him um, from so much of the ship's systems and its sort of mainframe as a whole is gone, uh, at least what he thinks it, it was. Um, there's this sort of moment where he pauses and there's this loud hum that comes from the helmet and he'd sort of give a small can to the head and flicking back one of the claws, there's a another sort of uh, dongle that's there and he'd plug it in <laughs> and then he'd begin sort of tapping on the screen, almost like this very erratic motion. Mm -hmm. Like he's moving his finger very fast across the screen, sort of swiping and tapping and sort of double tapping on uh, the various pop-ups that come up until the machine hisses. Uh, and sort of feeding it the three parts, uh, four grenades appear. And he, there's this very satisfied sound that comes from Marius. <laughs> oh, yeah! This is like that. <laughs> All right. So you will gain four Mastiff grenades. Okay. We saw the lethality of these things before from Gareth. They are very dangerous, as well as from the mimic. So, I will hand them out. Whoever wishes to take one, take one. Gareth takes one. Zika takes one. Uh, so, uh, I believe that's it, and then you would still have two remaining. There is the, what's the throw range? Uh, uh, the, uh, um, give me a second. I know the answer to this. Did I not write that down? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a silly little Billy, aren't I? Marius goes to throw the grenade. It <laughs> drops at his feet. Huh? Huh? He was melee. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be pretty funny, though, right? That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> As a oh. final fuck you from Saratos. <laughs> All right, I think I have the number, but I do need one more. I'm doing one more. Chakaruni. Okay. Uh, the range is 60 feet. Oh, Pog. Very cool. Uh, so Gareth took one. Vizika took one. Yeah. He's going to hold one out for cheats. Gamma. And then, do you have one as well? Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, and Vanya has two? 
I have two bombs, not mastiff ones, just oh. regular bombs. Uh, does okay. Cheats take a grenade? I, I, I don't want it. If I'm honest, I think it would better suit somebody else. Where would? So I, it's not that I don't think you're great at making shit, it's just. I don't want to be so wired. I. I can't tell where I'm throwing it. Oh, hey. I understand. Funny if you would be as kind. Yes. He'd hold out one of the massive grenades. Well, I can't say no to a weapon. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. So, tentative plan. Upon making contact with this entity, this uh, flesh eldritch being that Cheats described, uh, we will hurl these grenades at it in hopes of incapacitating it in some degree, and then resume normal combat measures. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Cheats like hard swallows. Yeah. Very well. Let's be about it. So you will travel on to the um to the back of the area? Indeed. <laughs> I put you all in a bag. Oh! oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's so dark in here! Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Who farted? <laughs> Oh, that was me, sorry. Oh my god. I'm so glad I have a fucking wrist. Oh, uh, what's this? It's wet. What am I touching? What is this? That's oh, probably me, also sorry. Bazinga. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we got teleported straight to the oh. door. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of Hello. <laughs> no, no, no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> First no. off, I sealed the doorway. So, oh. I'll have to basically activate it again for us to be able to pass through. You think maybe it would be a good idea for, you know, us to wait out in the big area and then, like, when it's in here, throw the grenades in, into this little hallway? I do not know what uh, sort of weaponry or capacity this creature has for being able to reach through doorways. <laughs> Cheats, how large was the room? <laughs> It's, uh, decently big, but as big as where we are now, if not bigger. And it took up the whole thing. So, I would rather we keep this door at our back as a means of retreating through. So that we have multiple avenues so we can close the doors behind us. We fight it in there. If we need to retreat, we retreat back through these doors. Such a bad idea. <laughs> you want to barge in there then? Not barge, but given that only a handful of us are stealthy, <sighs> we might as well wait around the corner, draw its attention, hurl the grenades the moment it comes around the corner, and be done with it. I mean, if the room is about the size of this one, I feel like it would be in the blast radius. What if these grenades fucking blow holes in the side of the ship? We don't well, know I anything didn't... about its structure or nothing. I did yeah. use one against whatever that god was. As did, to be fine. as did the entity within the Omari, used several of them, in fact. One near a wall. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, I said anything. I can bait the creature over to this door. Not the door. Let us get in there first. Uh. 
I don't know. If it's really small, I just... Grenades in, like, really enclosed spaces. I feel like it would be better off just tossing them in, like, like into a barrel? What? You know, like... <laughs> like you, you know, like it's trapped in, like, a, like a barrel. And then we toss grenades in there, and then just like us, put the lid on, and boom. Let us see the room first. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. I mean, how do you know it's not like leaned right up against the door? Or looking at it? We don't. We don't even okay. know if it's you, even still there. Hey, hey, Chase, you wanna you wanna wait in the other room with me? Out here. Make sure it's not out there. Are we? Fighting this entity or not? Well, we just went through out there. They're just trying to play it safe. I'll help you scope what we've, what situation we have afoot. I'm not stealthy in my. I will go. Door. Fucking Christ! I'll go. I'll. Uh... I'll go. Bye. You don't have to. I can go. Fastest here, all right? Well, how are we going to quietly reopen this door? Well, the, the door wasn't quiet before. I've just sealed it so that way it doesn't open automatically. Well, then well. we should be good to open it, yes? <sighs> when everyone's ready. Get I must, to where you would be. I must inform you now that by opening the door, I will immediately put you all in initiative order. That doesn't make, mean combat is beginning. Uh, that also might mean combat's beginning. I can't tell it one way or another, but once that door is open, you will be in initiative order. Understood. Let's do it. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. All right, oh well, you guys. God, I fucking love you guys. I wouldn't do this for anybody else. Who is opening the door? when Marius uh, sort of plugs into the small panel that's here, and it undoes his uh, sort of seal, you would tap and the with a nod, the door would uh, open the sheets. Sheets, you're up. All right, we're going to try to stealth our way in. All right. Let's see it. This will be an action to go stealth. All right, bonus action because you're a rogue. Sorry. All right. Excuse me. she'd get to this corner and there's a moment where like her her fingers twitch and 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 she they're like right above her her stimulant and, and, they, and they twitch and then she just closes them into fists a few times 
and will push herself forward. Okay, we're going to uh, action dash and get here to try to peer around to see if it is still there. All right. As you look towards the creature to see if it's still there, uh, this doesn't go like it did last time. As you turn over, uh, as you're kind of watching as the creature was feasting upon itself, or feasting upon all the, like the cadavers that seems to have been uh, scattered around here. One second. You'll actually watch as it'll illuminate looking as its various uh, uh, skulls and eyes are staring out over uh, in the general direction that you're peeking in. Your stealth was not high enough. And it was aware of your presence. <laughs> and now we roll initiative. Mm, here we go. Oh, a bop. <laughs> now you're like, no. All right, cheats. It's still your go. <laughs> we will run. And call out to uh, Gareth in this, like, arid, like, ex She's really trying to be quiet in a way of her like yell, right? It's not. It's not a yell. It's like, he's here. Like, he's still here. <laughs> she she just books around the corner and her like claws creating these like. As she just moves forward. Um, as you rush, uh, um, does that end your round? Uh, it's bonus action. Yeah, everything. Um, as you go, he's here, uh, you'll hear from behind. He's here! Uh, as it, as a legendary action, <laughs> as you hear its heavy footsteps, it turns the corner. It's chasing after cheats. There's like these, like, this manic, fearful expression on her face. Gareth. <gasps> He'll look at everybody and say, let's go. And then he's going to rush in. There's 10. This is standable, the, these discs? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, okay. Right, 20, 30. He'll brace here and let's see. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Um, as planned, chuck a massive grenade. Let's see. Does that give me the... Yeah, it does. <clears throat> whoops. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Well, there you go. All right. Uh, it succeeds the roll. However, uh, it was a vulnerable against the fire damage, mm -hmm. uh, meaning uh, it'll take 26 points of fire damage. And now I get to show off one of its, uh, one of its abilities. And it's a point it. bar. Good. Uh, adaptive uh, vulnerability. Uh, when cadaver arrows are probably damaged, uh, they are vulnerable to their damage vulnerability changes to a different damage type. So it's now no longer oh. vulnerable to fire. Mm. Mm -hmm. What a um, weird little guy. <laughs> is, the, is the throw considered an attack? Uh, it's an action, so yeah. Okay, so I could do a crossbow shot as well. 
Uh, is you? Do you have a, a light cross like a light? I have a, paint? I have a light crossbow. A uh, light crossbow, as we found out, um, is that is not considered an offhand weapon. <laughs> yeah. You want a I hand see. crossbow? <laughs> I see. Uh, you need a weapon with the light property, weapon. and the light crossbow is not that. <laughs> It'd be a hand crossbow is what you need. Yeah. Very well. Very well. Poor oh, me. I will use my second attack to shake my fist at it. Okay. And. <laughs> Uh, oops. Cancel that for one. Do I? Let's see. Uh, I do. I have false life. I'm going to grant myself some temporary HP. Let's see it. Ooh. Sweet. That's good. And that's all for me. Uh, next up is Zika. Oh. Wow. She runs up to stand in front of Cheats and looks back. Don't worry, I'll protect you. And she's going to throw her uh, grenade. Okay. Hey, so quick aside, Brett. Is this, oh. uh, this guy going to be on the paper? Is this guy going to be on the page? Yes. Nice. Very good. <laughs> Great. No reason. Uh, it takes 11 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> And then, um, so it's an action. Let's see what my um, bonkers are strong. Could I? Okay, I have, how much movement do I have left? I've spent 25, 30, 40, 55. I have 30 feet of movement left. Can I possibly, like, push cheats back with me <laughs> using my, my movement? Unfortunately, no. You'll have to do an action to shove. Mm. Or I think you can. I think you can shove as a bonus action. I believe for you? Question mark? Because you can do an unarmed strike as a, as a uh, on your offhand. <laughs> so you could technically shove. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'd allow it. Like shove, shove, or, or like for, for how much? Like half uh, my movement? Uh, it would be so you, to sh to shove. Yeah. Oh, let me, how, how the fuck would we even do this? <laughs> how much movement do you have? I have 30 feet remaining. Uh, you both you both can move back 15 feet. Okay. She's gonna do that. She's gonna like push cheats back towards the door, like <clears throat> like with her shoulder, like. <clears throat> okay, that would be. Let's see, 30, 40, like here. Excellent. That is if Cheats allows it. I don't know where I am. There's two of me. Why is there two of you? <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, that's be that's because I moved you. One. I forced moved you. The gray one is is where you were before. Okay. Are do you accept the movement or no? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's my turn. All Thank right. you, DM. Marius. All right. And immediately rushing past his companions, hearing the commotion, I'm going to move up beside Gareth. I'm going to lob my Mastiff grenade. Let's see it. Be another 14, uh, seven points of damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's saving all of that. God, I, all right. Uh, oh, I, oh, I, um, yeah, sort of bracing my weapon up. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Vanya. Hello. All right, let's see. Hmm. it from here right if you can see it yes yeah okay that's what i'm gonna do for now i'm not gonna lob my grenade could i use my poison one of my poisons actually two of my poisons for both shots every time i gotta yes i believe as part of your action you can use a poison on a, on a cool. weapon shot cool so i'm using poison do you want me to roll different just spending your poisons uh, no, you yeah. just go in and, and attack. Okay. 
Uh, it's going to be 15 uh, to hit. It does not hit. Um, uh. Okay, I'm going to go again. Uh, that does hit uh, for nine points of damage. And... What is he weak to this time? Huh? Make a constitution save. Uh, successful. Well. That did not go as planned. Oh, it's its turn. Okay. Uh, it'll continue its movement. <laughs> and it just goes in. Uh, for a quirky little thing we call variable multi-attack. Ooh. Uh, I get to roll. Uh, depending on what I roll, that's how many uh, attacks I get. I rolled the max amount. So it's, this is going to be two for um, Marius and two for Garrett, the front line. Quick Let's question. start with Marius. Yes. Uh, the rolls are hidden. Is that intentional? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't see them. Sorry. Either. It was because yeah. shit was there. Yes. I rolled a four. Yes, I rolled a four, and we're good to go on all my and all. And I've six, I saved on everything. I rolled seventeen on everything. All right. Oh, so here, <laughs> here we go. Uh, now I'm gonna go for the slam. So it's gonna be four attacks. We'll do two slams on Marius, two slams on Gareth. Uh, Sixteen misses. That'll miss, and then for Gareth, twenty-seven. Oh my god! Okay, question, question. Yes. Upon being hit, I have um, repulsion shield. Oh, I would like to activate this ability and see okay. if it works. Okay. While holding it, the wielder can use a reaction immediately after being hit by melee attack to expend a shield charge and push the attacker up to 15 uh, feet away. Yep, and that's what it'll do. You'll just kind of watch as this thing will... Let me see here. Where are we at there? So it'll just kind of like... <laughs> slam its body against the wall from the shield. Very nice. Uh, and then, instead of the uh, other slam it does, so it pulses there, it looks up to you, and it just goes <laughs> as it releases uh, radiation energy over to Gareth uh, for its fourth attack. Yeah. So, this will be a radiation blast instead of a slam. Uh, oh. It's a critical miss, so we're well. going to go. <laughs> How much Ooh. drugs do I have to do to gain a, like, <laughs> a resistance to radiation? <laughs> sorry, did it, You're funny. did it count for its own bonuses? I'm sorry? Did it account for its own bonuses? What do you mean? It rolled a two. That doesn't uh, look like it has proficiency or anything. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that. It's it, I was I literally about... I'm trying to fix that right now, actually. But thank you for noticing. Uh, what were you asking? Cheats. Well, I was asking, uh, how many drugs do I have to do to uh, become resistant oh, to yeah. radiation? That's a that's a great question. Anyways, it's, it's uh, your realm. <laughs> I also can't see our turn order up top for some reason. Uh, you can always use the old combat tracker. That's true. You can also press uh, combat carousel on the uh, left side of the, your screen. And that should reveal oh, your thing. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a cute little icon. Uh, Cheats, it's your turn. Yeah, it is. Um, we will... Um... I can't... Oh, okay. This is... My shit is so laggy. I don't want to move there. A little bit. Okay. We're going to rack up some points there. We're gonna go 15. 35. And then we're going to bonus action take drugs. Woo! Six damage. That's fun for you. But you are now under the effect of haste. And we will go forward. Whoa. 50. 
And we will attack with our whip. Miss. Miss. Anyway, we'll turn around. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, on an initiative of 20, the smiley face, lair action goes off. Oh, that's 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 wonderful. Uh <laughs> I smile. Um so, uh the creature will hold out its hand over uh specifically staring at Marius. Uh and you'll just see as it goes as it holds its hand out, it starts uh, making weird sigils with its uh, fingers as if it's casting some sort of foreign incantation. And then uh, Marius. One second. God, I don't understand why it does this. One second, please. And then Marius will be targeted. Uh-oh. As uh, oh. Marius uh, gets a little a sigil of green. Oh. Of green and, and, and uh, a little bit of green, uh, but definitely a, a pinkish hue, much like the color of the creature. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> Being a little red. <laughs> Yeah, that color looks good on you. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> we all are. Gareth. All right. Um, Gareth is gonna extend his sword and he's gonna cast Blight. Ooh. How do I cast Blight? <laughs> <laughs> How do? Uh, go to your spell book. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, ah, oh, it's there. Yep, yeah, yep, you're right. Yep, yep. The old spell book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boom. Success. Oh. Uh, it'll take 17 yeah. points of damage. Okay. Then he's going to run. Oh, hold on. Oops, that's the ruler. Oops. Uh, move this one. There we go. Uh, all right. I'm going to try to box it in. <laughs> move here. And uh, I'll use my bonus action to pop my second wind. I like it. Oh, I like Ooh. it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't do that. That was okay. me. That was me. Good. Sorry about that. Good. And I will oops, end there. Okay. Nope. Oh. As a legendary action. Oh, bro. Uh-oh. Uh, this thing tries to grab you and put it in its big old teethy mouth. Oh, my God. 18 does not hit. As it grows in, it literally starts grabbing your limbs as it pulls over to you. As it's like trying to pull you into its mouth, uh, it you managed to bat it back though. No. All right, Vizika. Now yeah. you can go. Okay. It's not working. I have the wrong thing selected. <gasps> All right, she's gonna run up, and immediately the first thing she's gonna do is bonus action boost hound the uh barge okay. liquor so, so this is where the the change we were talking about takes place because you did finish the last one 
So oh, okay. you do have three uses of your booze hound. Um, the booze hound is now going to be a, uh, a, a save or suck effect. So, oh, so yeah, instead of the, the melee weapon hit. Uh, actually, wait a sec. One moment. Processing. Take your time, take your time. Please wait. Please wait. System processing. Please wait. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, we can still do attack. I, I lied. We're gonna we're not gonna change the system. You're good. Everything's good. Continue on with your okay. business. All right. Hey, <laughs> thanks, bud. Uh, that'll hit, and the creature Excellent. becomes slowed. Wonderful. Ignore that. And then, oh. for, for, oh. for our action, we're going to swing down with the quarter staff in two hands. So as soon as the the alcohol flows upon this creature and starts to absorb into its pulsating mass, she's going to lift up and whack down. Ah! Ooh, mm. that hits uh, seventeen points of damage. And then she go back up here, scamper away. And... Yeah. Bob Boom uh, befalls me. Oh, it's, it's your turn, Smile. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Mm -hmm, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to move on up, uh, completely ignorant to the effects until it happens to me. Because uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to beat the shit out of this thing. Okay. Hey, why don't you stand over there? Stand over where? I don't know. Away from me. Away from you? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Hold on. No, no, I mean, it's, no, it's no, I yeah. no, it's okay, man. I get it. <laughs> I would do the same thing. I wouldn't want to be near me either. <laughs> uh, that'll also hit 11 points of damage. Yeah. The... Your shocking does 12 points of damage. Ooh. Oh. And now the adaptive vulnerability goes off again mm. yeah the first slam connecting and then as he wrenches it back the second swing sort of uh sort of bouncing its skull head off of the wall uh this creature is huge right or large uh large oh then yeah uh i'm not gonna move it with crusher um but as sort of like the flavor sort of bouncing its head off the wall yeah it's a... <laughs> <laughs> uh vanya <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will assume that if I throw anything, it will hit Gareth. Like a bomb, I mean. I want to assume that, and I'm not going to do that. I think if you click the die, you can see an AoE. Really? It'll spend the item. Yeah. Will it if you get yeah. the AoE up? It's a pretty big guy. Yeah. It's a big yeah. ass AOA. <laughs> God damn. Oh. Well, uh, I'm going to try and sh shoot it again, I guess, but I can't do anything. I have no hit dice, and uh, shit sucks. You're shooting it. That's Honestly. What matters. Shit sucks. Yeah, you, yeah, you I mean, shoot okay. it advantage. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot yeah. it. Advantage. Yeah. Use your advantage. sucker stuff. Why advantage? Because uh, it's slowed by her booze. Oh. So yeah. you're going to shift attack? Yeah, or what is your Gloomstalker stuff? That mom won't keep saying. Yeah, I didn't I, do it. I don't know if it's applicable on this Yeah, range. I don't think. I don't think. I should have done it before. Because but I already went. You could what? try out and see if the shadows hide you. Into the shadows. Can I even reach? Not really. I mean... I'm in the shadows right now. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> One step at a time. God damn. All right. Um, let's let's do it again. I'm I'm still gonna stick with a poison. Okay. All right, and see if that hits. Um, oops. 
Nope, did that's me that? spending. That's me okay, spending okay. your poison. I'm like, did I click some? All right. So shift attack. Correct. Okay, that hits. Let me uh, mm. first apply. See if the poison applies. It does not. Mm. Uh, but Damn, these 13, saving throws. Thirteen points of damage. Okay. Again. Oh. 19 points. One moment, please. We spend the poison. We do please. the poison. Come on, take it. Take it. Oh my god, natural 20. Oh. Jesus. Ah. Let me just roll another 2d8 for the poison. 14 points of damage. Uh, It will... Oh, actually, no. Uh, Not 14 points of damage. Uh, because it would use its legendary resistance. Oh. However, understood, understood. By using the legendary resistance, uh, it must take twenty points of damage. Oh, oh. wow! Oh. oh! And now, I interrupt the turn. Uh. That is Vanya for the bloodied action. Uh. Okay. Any idiot with a marker on them within five feet of the boss <laughs> fucking dies. Mind control. One moment. Hold my hand, I'm scared. Hmm. Beautiful. Hmm. Is it now? Uh it uh holds out its various appendages. And we'll now do its bloodied move, uh, Artificial Nova, which it would do. Uh, oh. What? Uh, uh, yeah, right here's good. Dots. Oh, oh. Oh, baby. What? It's, so, it's happening. Oh, I'm so happy. So, uh, on the start of the triggering round, that's this, by the way. Uh, the cadaver uh, arthropod uh, places their various appendages up, focuses a burst of volatile radiation energy, targeting a radius of 30 feet. At the end of the triggering round, uh, so the next round over, uh, this effect goes off. And any creature still within the radius uh, must make a dexterity save DC 18. On failure, they take 12d6 radiation damage, and the area becomes irradiated. So this didn't go off right now. Correct. Holy fuck. Oh but next round, it will. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Anyways, Vanya, you may continue. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> but these little squares here are not irradiated, right? Right? No, they are not irradiated, yes. Are... No. Mm. You were about to say yet, weren't you? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, bonus action dash. Because I'm out of movement. Okay. And, do you, do you uh, have? Do you have? Uh, do rangers have the ability to bonus action dash? I don't know. Do they not? Shit. You do not. Do I play <laughs> Baldur's Gate three a lot? <laughs> uh, okay. Then I f just fucking take it, I guess, and dive. And just. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything. Can't, what start can I get, do? I can't. Start getting ready to run. So yeah. I'm, I'm re I've been ready. This, like, effect, I've this, been, effect, I've been. this effect goes off at the end of your next round. Okay, yeah. Thanks, DM. Mm. That was very cool. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh -huh, all right. So now, uh, once again, we'll be doing a variable multi attack. Two this time. Uh, this is just going to be a slam against uh, Marius. Does a 27 hit you? Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. 18 points of damage. Uh, and then does a slam hit? That's a critical For miss. my bloodied ability. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> oh, shit. Cheats, it's your turn. Yeah, um, she's just freaking out. Uh, and she sees this, like, low here it's it's almost like to her incredibly high eyes it's like 
everything around her is how she feels when she takes her drugs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's <laughs> like, everything's fucking moving. It's all vibrating. We're gonna run. Also, uh, I did forget to mention, the creature is now vulnerable. Ooh. It's now vulnerable? It is now vulnerable, correct. Vulnerable and slowed from what? From Uh, from being bloody. Oh. (laughs) Uh, 30 feet. So 50 feet and double damage. Getting the fuck out of that. Yep. Um, yeah, holy shit. That's amazing. And destroy it. Yeah. Kill it. Kill. Yeah, and she like stumbles uh, past, and she will go to hit. That'll hit. Uh, 16 points of damage. I would like to reroll that damage if possible, please. You have six charges. Are you spending those? Yes. 12 points of damage. And yes, you may reroll. I'll take the new damage. Oh. <laughs> what, what was the new damage? 11. Oh, what was it before? Uh, so I rolled a one and a one, and, def- and now I rolled a four and a one. Oh, okay. So extra three points of damage. Or actually, extra six points of damage. And then that mm-hmm. sneak attack is another 38 points of damage. Wow. <laughs> no longer vulnerable. And I will hit again. Nine points of damage. Yeah. Jesus Christ, she's a machine. She's nuts. She's crazy. And in this, like, moment, uh, she's gonna step forward, uh, like, getting as close as she can to it, and, uh, kind of ring, she, she has a bell in her pocket, she's gonna reach into it, she's gonna start ringing it. Hey! Hey! Ding, 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 ding. Okay. You are ringing a bell. What are you uh, doing? Trying to get its attention off of my gro- glowing green friend. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I explode, I'm going to hug you. Uh, I just want you to know that. And, uh... And, uh, take drugs. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Looks back at Mars. Yeah, so she, <laughs> yeah, she, she pulls this bell out, ding, 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 and then like turns her head to the side, just, <laughs> and then the <laughs> bell goes, the bell goes from like ding, 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 to ding, 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 All right. Mm. As a on the initiative twenty, as a lair action, as it holds its hand out, uh, it'll just clasp. And as it does, uh, Marius will begin glowing this 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 violent sort of irradiated oh, no. pink. Uh, it will surge uh, out of Marius, um, and Marius uh, being the focal point of this attack. Uh, will irradiate out um, and all creatures 10 feet from Marius must now um, make a constitution saving throw. Do uh, I make one? Uh, no. The only I one that has to... Yeah, uh, you, no, you are the center of the attack. You are not the target of it. Oh. Uh, oh. The only hey, target yo. currently is uh, Cheats. So Cheats, cheats please make a radiation. Oh, so you're going to watch as this energy surges out. You think it's going to be you, and then it lashes out and hits Cheats. Um, oh, I have a little question. So that text says any creature. Does that include him? Uh, sure does. It's going to heal up. And so now this is going to happen. Ugh. And they gain two regeneration this round. 
What's the DC for the save? Uh, smiles. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then I'll just throw, I'll use my reaction to do Flash of Genius on uh, Cheats to give her a plus three oh, to her oh, save. Oh, I didn't realize Cheats smiles. I thought you were just like, give me the data. And I was like, nope. no, <laughs> no, fuck you. What? <laughs> All right, hold on one second. Uh, it's definitely not 11. Uh, the DC. Oh, uh, yeah, so Flash of Genius, how much are you adding? Uh, I get to add a plus three to her saving throw. A 14 is insufficient, as Cheats will take. Oh, my God. Cheats goes down. <laughs> you just kind of watch as this re-needed energy surges out. Um... You are unscathed, Marius, but Cheats, standing at your side, uh, goes down from being next to you. Jesus. All right. Um, we can move through friendly spaces. Is that right? Uh, yes, but I'm not done yet. Oh, well. Uh, and then the hand opens up. And now a target will show uh, over Gareth. Woo! Uh, and now it's Gareth's turn. Nice. Oh, actually, at the beginning of Gareth's turn is where we will continue today's session of In the Shadows Breach. Thank you guys oh, so much for playing. And woo! Uh, woo this man! <laughs> I'll be thinking about my death the entire week. Thank I mean, you. come come on. I mean, that's a perfect ending. Per Marius, perfect. ready to accept demise, uh, <laughs> closes hey, nice. the, their eyes. In the arms of the angel. <laughs> opens their eyes, and their proximity oh to cheats God. is what knocked cheats out. Fucking Peter Griffin posed in front of him. He goes, <laughs> oh, my God. I did this. <laughs> I was like, this is why man. you shouldn't do drugs. I was like, oh my god, this is about this is this is gonna fucking suck. <laughs> well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ruh -ruh. <laughs> what's Mari? What's what's in Marius's brain right now? What's in Marius's brain? Uh, the there is that moment where like he began to like that or the irradiated like nuclear green began to emanate from his body, and he sort of leaned back for a moment, sort of closed his eyes, and he was like, all right, Reaper, you can finally take me. Uh, and then it, he hears the the explosion, realizes nothing happened to him, opens his eyes, and sees the smoldering, like, unconscious form of Cheats, and realizes this thing used him as, like, a proxy, as a weapon. Uh, and I was pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a pretty awful individual very dope ability though i very much like it um you guys have fun today yes yes yes, yes. both bosses we got fun. so that was perfectly spaced out taking I, them down i the I, first boy. I loved how you guys were like god we're we're we're, we're uh this is gonna suck we're okay. Let's do it. Let's let's see how we do against Ceratos. You you make it out of the skin of your teeth. You're like, huh, we did it. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to kill that thing now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's got like baby skulls in its head and oh, stuff like just, that. It just cracks me up. Like, guys, I think we bit off more than we could chew. You managed to survive and went yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think we're gonna fight that thing next. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're still standing, you know, so we should be good. I'm uh, ready. Uh, let's go ahead and do bingo, clutch mm -hmm. bait and switch maneuver. Uh, no, an ancient magic mm -hmm. spell tome is on the loot list. We don't know, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm not gonna check it. Level up, dude. No. Oh. Probably learns more about the origin of the slimes. Uh, words were said. Cursed mm -hmm. intro talk. Not that I remember. Oh. Saratos goes Damn. nuclear. Kaboom. Technically, with the the the, the whiplash explosion. Chance uh, cheats. Chance what? Cheats lands the final blow. Motherfucker. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very Bye. cool. Uh, was there a badass Marius one-liner? 
uh, everything Ow. I say is badass. Uh, wow. No. And because of that, I will not be checking out that box. <laughs> there might uh, be a chocolate planet out there. It's possible to, to Vizika that was the most badass one liner. Vizika ends the fight with the most hit points. A third party <laughs> intervenes in the fight. No, nobody goes down. Hey, Vizika, yeah, Vizika oh, did. And the, the most, yeah. Wait, Vasika uh, ends, yeah, the fight with the yeah, most HP the left. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. why they were, they were lagging. Oh, okay. Yeah, lag yeah. is bad. Sorry. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I was like, that's why I checked it off. What the fuck? Uh, a third party intervenes in the fight. No, uh, nobody goes down for the rest of the boss fight. Mm, yes, for that one. Uh, Nat 20. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Bingo. Yes. Vasika sniffs something. Yes. Nat 1. Yeah, wow. Yes. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Bingo, on, baby. Nice. Oh, there bingo. you go. Or, uh, not bingo. Hans. Hans. In Korean oh, files in the sentence found, mm -hmm. no. Brett introduces slash test a new mechanic. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, death saving throws. Not, not yet. yet. Smile. She breaks her kinetic limit. No. The party leaves the station. No. <laughs> the party goes back for the optional boss. Yes. <laughs> she tells the party about her talk with Hellboard. No. The station star crystal gets destroyed. No, Saratos tries to mess with Marius or cheats his head. Um, I don't Not think this so. Time no. Why yeah. Why oh. Oh, the party gains more radiation stacks, and oh. that ends. Bingo! Woo! You know something Woo! I don't know. <laughs> Good job. Bingo bongo. Bingo bongo. All right, guys. All, all the beautiful fan art at the start. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's no a it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's been a real treat. All right, I'll see you guys next week for the conclusion of this fight. And yeah. you know what other what else might be in the station? Who knows? Yes. Oh, oh. oh. It's the boss. It's Cheetle. It's Cheetle. He's the fifth Cheetle. boss. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, I'll oh, see no. you guys later. Bye bye. Thanks for bye. Bye. Bye.